Families affected by President Trump's controversial travel ban are taking the opportunity to come to the U.S. after a federal judge in Seattle temporarily halted the ban and appeals court declined to reverse that ruling. The White House is now appealing and says it will prevail for the safety of the country. Federal Judge James Robart, appointed by George W. Bush, temporarily halted President Trump's controversial ban. The White House appealed that decision but lost, taking advantage of a window of opportunity now. Travelers previously banned from entering the U.S. are happily arriving in American airports this weekend. This family from Yemen finally reunited. All I wanted was just to see my wife and my daughter. This is one of, the, one of the greatest moments, I think, since I came to this country. We're telling people to get here as soon as they can get here because, you know, every other day there's a new development. The Justice Department now has until Monday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, to file its response with the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco to get the ban reinstated. The White House says it will keep fighting until the travel ban gets reinstated, even if it means taking this case all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Meanwhile, an Iranian baby born with a rare heart condition is now expected to undergo life-saving surgery here in the U.S. after her family was granted an emergency exemption to President Trump's ban. Doctors say there is a treatment for Fatima Rashad's heart disease, but the clock is ticking. She's about four months of age, and that has complicated her condition. So the blood flow throughout her heart and lungs has potentially injured, um, begun, it has certainly begun to injure her lungs. Newborns in the U.S. with Fatima's condition usually get treated within a week after birth, but she and her family will arrive in the U.S. in the next few days.